Disability campaigners say the clock is ticking to make sure young people have a place to go once the National Disability Insurance Scheme comes into effect. While Queensland is yet to sign on, Young Care is already working on new housing options. Tegan George has the story. At 42, Steve Shrek is finally the leading man in his own life. Making more choices now than I used to, and I can, my social life, I can, I can go to concerts and um, movies and picnics. Steve lives at the Young Care Apartments on the Gold Coast, which this week celebrated its first birthday. Anna Buffalino can't believe the change in her son Ricky. He's happier and healthier and... I can now just focus on being his mum and Ricky really enjoys having mum time. But not every family has that chance. This morning, 7,500 young Aussies woke up in aged care facilities. I know that they would have met his needs in a nursing home, but Ricky's a 26-year-old young man who has a 26-year-old mind and wants to do what a young boy of his age would want to do. Young Care has high hopes the National Disability Insurance Scheme will help change that. It really has been a lotto, you know, depending on where you had your injury, what state you live in. The scheme will give people with disabilities the power to choose the support and care they need. But Young Care says if there's no appropriate housing available, they'll still have nowhere to call home. Which is why the organisation is working on new housing models. But we're also interested in looking at what's, what, what's best practice for a family home or a share house. It gives back dignity, it gives back choice uh, and it gives back a, a quality relationship. It also gives security. This way I know my, my future is set because I'm here. Tegan George, 10 News.